Good afternoon, everybody. Still got flowers blooming in the yard. Home on my lunch break and thought I'd take a quick little look at the few of these flowers that I still have left. I love them. They just have such a nice, lovely, soft vanilla scent. As you can see, I got ants here. They're busy pollinating them. Occasionally, I see hummingbird moths around them. Don't really see the bees, but the scent is lovely. They're almost spent, and once they're done, I can get this bed cleaned out really good. Still have some dead stuff from last year because I didn't get them chopped down last fall. And uh, usually chop it all down to the ground, take it out so that the new front, well, they can, stalks can come up without any weeds, but I didn't get that done last fall. And I got my purple mountain asters. Here are, it's time to cut them down. Chop them down to about 10 inches tall. And that way they will be only about 12, 14 inches tall when they bloom and they won't be falling over. So they're getting way too tall and they, it's time to cut them down so that I'll have a short little uh, bed of purple asters blooming about the end of August. Or the middle. Middle to the end of August is usually when they start blooming. But they'll get a good four or five feet tall if you don't cut them down. And it's usually the end of July, June, first of July is the best time to cut them down. And that is all for right now. I'm going to go in and get my lunch and go back to work and I will talk to you all later this evening. Well, good afternoon everyone. It's Saturday afternoon. I thought you might want to see just how big the sunflowers have gotten. Look at that. They are huge. They're already getting up past that top rail, I mean the middle rail. You can see over here, these ones over here are, look how tall they are. They're getting really, really tall. And you gotta remember, this is a four foot tall fence. And I said last week that they were gonna start growing about a foot a week. And sure enough, some of these have already grown almost a whole foot. And uh, you can see I've got a couple of leaners here. Those ones I'm going to have to start staking up. I've got about three leaners. And, uh, yep. So far, no pocket gophers or voles have been attacking them. Ants haven't been attacking them yet. But I'm keeping an eye out. I'll probably lose a few, but the majority of them will make it to adulthood and uh, be blooming. But honestly, this is, we'll see where they are the next Saturday. I bet they're all the way up to the top rail by next Saturday. And yes, this is a four foot tall fence. So. That just tells you, some of these things are already three feet tall. They're just going to be so gorgeous when they outgrow the fence and are towering over it. And at that point, I'll start tying them up to the top rail to help support them. And our little volunteers are still plugging away here. They're couple of them are over a foot tall. The others are still tiny. Uh, I've got another thistle right down there that I need to get out. Yep. Gotta do
do some thistle digging. Can't let these thistles grow and take over. Worked too hard already this last couple weeks to get rid of the thistles. Most of my piles have been hauled away by my neighbor. So what used to be a couple of big piles, one back here and one over next to the greenhouse are now two tiny little piles. And I have been working really hard all week weeding the pumpkin patch. And as you can see, I got one more row of tires to dig out, pull up all that grass. It will just lay down flat like, well, let me go show you. Go through the fence. Thank you. Going on ketogenic diet, I lost 45 pounds and can now go through the fence trails again. But yep, I just lay it all out like that and let it go. I've still only got about one third of the raspberries weeded, but as we weed the pumpkins, we'll get into the raspberries and get them all weeded and get all the dead stuff, dead canes cut out. But as you see, the pumpkin plants are very, very happy. They are getting big. They're popping their little heads right out of the tires. And even if not all of them make it, I'm going to have enough vines for lots. This one's still a little tiny. It's still taking its sweet old time. These ones are the Big Max pumpkins. And they will get big and huge and this next row is where I might have a few Big Macs in here but most of it was those uh, warty looking pumpkins. The two middle rows are your regular jack-o-lantern, orange jack-o-lantern, Connecticut Field, Howden. It's a bit of a mix of all. And this row is what they call the choice. I'm not sure. Casper, Lumia, there. I had a mix that was a jack-o'-lantern, white and orange mix, and so all those seeds got put in here. So I might get a few orange out of this row. This will be mostly white pumpkins. And uh, that should make for a good, uh, diverse harvest come October. End of September, 1st of October is usually when I harvest my pumpkins. And any that the rodents and slugs haven't gotten and destroyed, they get uh, packed up into my vehicle and I make a nice little run down to Utah where all the grandkids eagerly await me bringing, we've taken to calling that the Great Pumpkin Run. It happens every October. Great Pumpkin Run. All the pumpkins get loaded up and hauled down to Utah. And usually me to the center location and all the kids can come and get pick out the pumpkins they want. Sometimes though my kids are so busy that I'll just drive around and deliver pumpkins, which is good. I get to go from house to house and visit with everybody, which I enjoy thoroughly. I'm always a little, I get my post-visit depression on my way home afterwards. I go down, visit kids, visit grandkids, and then come home and feel kind of depressed for a couple of days because I'm home alone with my animals again. But got a great oh god beyond behind the weeds and the you can see those those sunflowers are taller than the weeds they are taller than the weeds in the grass you can see the sunflowers just look at that ah come on focus there we go nice little focus there yep they're all taller than the weeds in the grass oh god sunflowers are going to be huge
and they're going to be so beautiful when they bloom this year. But that is my little update for right now. I'll see y'all later. Alright, well I went and took the cover off of it to assess damage. Two supports are, as you can see, completely broke. These are bent. This support is bent. This support is bent. These are the ones. As you can see from the number on the side. So trying to get focus on the number. Focus on the number. Yeah, it's a one. The ones are all bent. And these supports, which are oh god, I don't even know if I can find the number on them. Or the letter. I think these are B supports. Got a C. I know they had numbers or something on them. Stickies. Anyways, not even all the duct tape could help. They, those four all need to be replaced. Those, the four ones, and I think. These are B supports. I'd probably have to look at the thing. All of them would need to be replaced to make this frame workable again. Just not worth it. Not worth it. So, yeah. All right. So that's all for now. It's still nicely, tightly anchored into the ground as you can see well anchored into the ground that's not going anywhere yep oh, yeah the pocket gophers have been excavating i kind of smoothed off their dirt things but didn't quite get the tunnel uh, yep didn't quite get that tunnel. That's an ankle breaker. Anyways. Let's see. There's a hole there. I wonder how much dirt it'll take before we get it full. Yep. But, uh, okay. So much for the out sunny greenhouse. Just don't buy one, people. It's a big waste of money. Go Shelter Logic if you need a greenhouse. They literally got inch and a quarter thick, inch and a quarter round. So they're big round steel frames. They make carports for heaven's sakes, as well as greenhouses. All uses the nice big heavy duty frames. They'll outlive. The company. Good evening everyone. It's Sunday evening. This is going to be on the end of the video I'm going to try to make and get out tonight. The moon is almost full. It is amazing. Let's see if we can focus in. Oh, that looks so awesome. So awesome. Yeah. Finally finished weeding the pumpkin patch. And I got the sprinkler going down on it. It's starting to get pretty dry. But you can see all the pumpkins. And there are various stages of trying to get out of the... They're starting to climb out of their tires there. They're doing really, really good. Just really good here. Still got to finish weeding the raspberries, but I got a good chunk of that done now, too. And if we zoom in, see if we can zoom in and you can see.
see like I videoed yesterday how tall those sunflowers are getting. They are just getting amazingly tall. Oh, there's one trying to poke its little head through the fence. I'm going to have to go and pop it back to the other side so it doesn't get stuck. But yeah, they're just all getting really, really tall there. Pretty soon they're going to be towering over the fence. Let's see. Gonna walk around here. Get a better look. Finally identified this plant that I got growing here and it's curly dock. So, yeah. And I was going to take it out anyway. I got a little bunch there. I got a little bunch here. Curly dock is edible. However, it's high in oxalates. So, if you want to eat it, the leaves are edible. They say best to get young leaves and get them but here's another view of the sunflowers got the sunset behind us yeah apparently doc you'd need to get the young leaves and cook them to help reduce the oxy what what is it oxalate or ox it's ox with something acid and some people are very sensitive to that and uh it's just basically a chemical that all plants produce to try to keep you from eating them. It's just stronger in some plants than in others. But yeah. <sighs> so. Sitting here trying to get through the raspberries without stepping on any of them in my bare feet because I walked out here to get pictures of the moon in my bare feet. Because <sighs> that's just me. <sighs> Let's see if I can kind of move this sprinkler just a few more inches. So it gets closer back to the fence back there. Okay. Yeah, the pumpkins, they are doing really, really well. We had a little wind today, so things got a little windy out here. Looks like I got a little broken stem. But most of the wind has died down. Yeah, I do, I do want the sprinklers to hit the uh, sunflowers there. So I'm going to sit here and see... See how the sprinkler does as it slowly moves back over. Oh, there's a little tree sparrow. I don't know if you can see him. He looks like a tiny little dot in there. Okay, he's flew off now. I like watching them. They swoop around my yard in the evenings catching bugs. And we got a beautiful sunset going on. And just look at that gorgeous golden light. Everything's just looking gorgeous. Sun is going down. Still haven't found a home for my sunflowers. Might actually have to text a few people and ask them if they want sunflowers. And I still got to get back to my transplanting of marigolds. <laughs> I grow a good crop of marigolds. <laughs> I really do. Just look at that. But I got to get some of those that are crowding the tomatoes. And move them and this bed has not as many marigolds as I would like and a lot more weeds weeds are just all of a sudden sprouting up 
Look, some of these are blooming. And because they're self-seeding and grow wild, I never know what colors I'm going to get. I mean, I originally started planting when I was buying starts. I got yellow ones. I got the red ones, the striped ones, the orange ones. Planted them all in here. They've all just sort of mixed and mingled. And now, now they're just blooming up a storm. Well, everyone, this is going to be a long video again, probably, so I'm going to wish you all a good night, and, oops, brushing bugs off me. Anyways, <laughs> that's what happens when you live in the country, there's bugs. Anyways. If you like this video, please share it with your friends, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, so you can get notified of when I put up a video. And I thank you all for those of you who have subscribed for helping me to build my channel. I'm very, very grateful to all of you. Well, good night. Have a pleasant evening. And I hope tomorrow you have a wonderful day.